Welcome to Piano Video Lessons Year 1, Lesson 7. The best way to experience these lessons is on the website pianovideolessons.com. So either check the description or look up here at the info card for all of the um, links you'll need for this lesson, including the link to the website with the complete lesson index and the link to the printable materials. So let's get started. In Lesson 6, we learned about these two notes. And they are space notes on either side of our landmark G. This is space 1, F, and space 2, A. So in order to play this piece called So Easily, we need to remember those notes. And we also need to remember our rhythm values of half note and quarter note. How many beats for a half note? Two. Very good. How many beats for a quarter note? One. Very good. Those are the only two rhythms that we need in this piece. So let's do a couple of things to warm up this piece of music. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to po point to each note and say its letter name. So here I go, just pointing at the notes and naming them. Space 1, F, line 2, G, F, F, G, F, F, G, G, space 2, A, G, F. Next line, F, G, F, F, G, F, F, G, G, A, G, F. That's the first thing that you should do. So pause the video here and point to every note and name the letter. The next thing that you should do is you should count the beat and clap the rhythm. So we're going to write in the counting for this. So I'm going to write in one, two for that half note and one, two for the next half note. Then I have one, one, one beat each for the quarter notes and one, two for the half note. All right, now this team has four quarter notes, one beat each, and then we have the same rhythm that we just had back here, one, 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 two. Next line starts off the same. It's going to have one, two, one, two, and then same here, one, 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 two. A team of four quarters, one beat each, and quarter, quarter, half note. So now let's clap the first line, and we'll say these counts at the same time. We'll always count out loud, beginning here. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two. Excellent. So pause the video now and clap and count the both lines of music. They are the same. The next thing that we'll do is we'll determine our hand placement and we'll get set up. And what I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to check the finger numbers. So this only plays with right hand and it shows a one above the first note. That means to play with my first finger. So I'm going to place my thumb on F with my nice rounded relaxed hand shape and I'm going to prepare to play. So now I'm going to think about which fingers I'm going to play. I'd start with my one and the next one would go up. So from F I'm going to go up to G and then I'm going to go back to F. So back to my first finger and then back to G. And then I'm going to go back to my first finger again, back to G, and then I'm going to go up to A with my third finger on A, then down and down. So I'm going to go ahead and play this now, and I'm going to say the letters. So here I go. F, hold. G, hold. F, F, G, hold. F, F, G, G. A, G, F, hold. And we can do that for the second line. So go ahead and practice playing with a nice steady beat working on the first line. Now we're going to play it again and this time we're going to play and count the beats. So each of these steps gets progressively more difficult. So if you had trouble on step three, don't leave step three. Stay working on just saying your letter names while you play. Now we're going to count out loud because presumably we've played this enough times that we can play thinking of the letter names and we know which note is next. So I'm going to now count the rhythm while I play the notes that are shown, starting with one on F. Here I go. One, two, one, two, one, 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 
two. One, 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 next line. One, two, one, two, one, 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 two. One, 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 two. Excellent. So you should practice that until you can play it at a steady beat while counting out loud. And the next thing that we could do is we could chant the words or sing along as we play. So it goes like this. When I keep the beat, I can play so steadily, steady on the beat. I can play so easily. Excellent. So practice this lesson. Break it down into these steps. Name the notes. Count and clap. Place your hand and think about which fingers are going to play on which notes and set it up carefully. And then play it while naming the notes. And once you can play it while you name the notes, you can play it and count the beats. Something else that's important to think about is up and down. So if you look at the shape of this music, you have F, up, down, repeat, up, down, repeat, up, repeat, up, down, down. So what I'm talking about here is the direction that the notes are moving on the staff. So if I were to draw these notes on the staff, I would start with F, and then I would go up. So you see how this went up and then I went back to F, so that was down, from G back down to F, and then repeat, it's the same note again, and then up. And then I went back down to F and played two, that's a repeat, then I went up to G and repeat, and then I went up again to A, and then down to G, and then down to F. So you can see if I did a little dot to dot here that the notes kind of move up and down. You can play and say those directions at the same time as well. So I could start with my thumb on F and then say up or down. F, hold, up, hold, down, repeat, up, hold, down, repeat, up, repeat, up, down, down, hold, F, hold, up, repeat, down, repeat, up, re hold, F, repeat, G, repeat, up, down, down, hold. Awesome. So practice this piece until you can play it steadily and easily with your right hand. And when we come back, I'm going to teach you another song uh, using right hand, and it's Hot Cross Bun. So in the second half of this lesson, we're going to play a familiar song. It's called Hot Cross Buns, and I'm sure you've played it before. There are some practice steps down here at the bottom that will help guide you through your practice. So it says that to prepare to play, we should examine the music carefully and we should name the notes. So let's do that. Space 2, A. Line 2, G. Space 1, F. A, G, F. F, 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 F. G, 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 G. A, G, F. All right, now we're going to count while we play. So let's write in the counting. 1, 2 for each half note. One, two, three, four for the whole notes, and uh, one, 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 one for every quarter note team for four quarters. So let's go ahead and finish that. I have two more half notes here, two more half notes here, four quarters here, and a whole note here. So please write in the counting on your music, and now we're going to clap it. Here we go. One, two. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Excellent. So now let's test out the fingerings. We see finger four goes on A. So I have my four and I'm going to curve my hand and place my nice fourth finger here on the note A and I'm going to see that I start on 4 on A and I go down and down then back to A down and down then I stay on my 2 here on F 4 of F then 4 of G and then A 
down and down. So I've tested out the fingerings and I was looking at note direction. So now I'm going to decide on a tempo that's easy and I'm going to try to play the piece going nice and easily. So here I go. I'm going to think ahead to everything that's happened, everything that's coming up, and play slowly from the beginning. Here I go. Finger four on A. A, two, G, two, F, two, my hand is relaxed. A, two, G, two, F, my fingers are rounded and curved. F, 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 G, 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 A, hold, G, hold, F, two, three, four. I kept a steady slow beat the entire time. If there were any spots that gave me trouble, like for example, let's say I had trouble here getting back to A, I'll just circle that so that when I'm holding this F for four, I can take my eyeball over here and look to see that it's going to be A. Now what I won't do, I won't write the letter in the music. I won't put an A there. I've circled it. That is a cue for my brain to pay attention to what's in there and do some thinking about that note and possibly, you know, find another way to figure it out. Look at flashcards or check a previous lesson page. Instead of writing in the letter, if I write in the letter with a pencil, I will look at the pencil mark. I won't look at the note and that will teach me not to read music. I want to be able to read the music. So circle the trouble spots and practice those ones again. So here I have A. I'm gonna think about my A is with four. I'm not gonna write a four in there. I'm just gonna work on knowing that. And then I'm gonna play it again. Here I go. A two, G two, F two, three, four. A two, G two, F two, three, four. F, 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 G, 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 A, 2, G, 2, F, 2, 3, 4. Excellent. So continue playing this again until your beat is steady and smooth. The practice method is the same for all of the lessons. Essentially, we're going to name notes, we're going to count and clap, and we're always going to count out loud because that is the best way to stay steady. Then we're going to prepare our hands and check out the uh, ups and downs with the finger numbers. Then we're going to play, and we're going to play and say the letters. And then we can play and say the up downs. And then we can play and count the beats while we play. And this will keep us uh, progressing and playing more smoothly all the time. Excellent, so now uh, the next lesson is lesson eight and we're going to do another finger gym. So tune in for lesson eight and we'll see you in the next video.